Okay. Uh, more than 15. Well, 15, 14. Okay, 15. we got that. 15, 14, 15. <laughs> the early Okay, press. I don't get it. What? <laughs> Hello, my name is Bruce Yaney, and today I want to share a piece that I have my students take a look at, you know, a study of lenses and mirrors. Now, it's a fun piece, and it simply gets students thinking a little bit more about what happens to light when it's reflected off different shaped surfaces. Now, let's take a closer look at it. Here's the eyepiece. This is what you look through. And when we push this button down, this light goes on. And at this end, we have a concave mirror. Now, let me continue turning it around here. Take a look at the other side. Pretty much the same from either side. Once again, I push down on a button. That light goes on. And what I'm really concerned with is looking through this eyepiece. So let's take a look together. Now I'm going to push down on the button a few times. I'm going to flash this light on and off. And if I look outside the eyepiece, push down on the button, we can see that's the bulb we're looking at. And once again, from in the eyepiece, push down the button, there's the bulb. Now what I want to do is I'm going to unscrew that bulb push down on the button again and hey there's the bulb again where is it coming from I look outside the eyepiece it's not there look in the eyepiece push on the button and a bulb appears so as you can see there's no bulb in the socket but yet pushing on the button and the bulb appears let's put the bulb back in again push it down there it is take it back out push down on the button and it's still there so the whole question is where is this coming from? Well, the first part of the answer has to do with that mirror at the end of the device. It's a concave mirror, and we know that concave mirrors will reflect an image and invert it, which means it's going to flip it upside down. The rest of the explanation has to do with that box that that light and socket is sitting on. Now, if we were to take a closer look inside the box, we would find a second bulb and socket mounted directly underneath the first one upside down. Here's a simplified version of what's actually going on. Here we see the two bulbs. They're not lit. I push down on the button. They both come on. But we don't see that second bulb. Now if I unscrew the top bulb and I push down on the button again, that lower bulb, which is upside down, will light up and its image will be reflected and inverted, or in this case, turned right side up, so that it appears where that upper bulb is supposed to be sitting. Now let's take a closer look at this piece. Here we can see both bulbs, and if I push the button down, they'll both light up. There we go. And if I remove that upper bulb and push down on the button, just the lower bulb lights up, and that's the image that is reflected and inverted so that it is going to appear in that empty socket at the top. Looking at the bulb from a different angle, it doesn't work. I have to look straight on for that bulb to appear. And the eyepiece puts us in the right position for this to work. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I want to thank you for watching. Okay, bye.